iMusic One, Hard Rock Café Stage und wir nähern uns dem Höhepunkt des ersten Tages, denn neben mir sitzt nicht nur ein alter Freund, sondern der wahrscheinlich bekannteste Künstler, den wir hier bei der Messe bei uns haben. Welcome, James Kotek. Hey man, how you doing? James, I'm glad to meet you again. It's almost a year when we met first time here in Frankfurt, next door in the Festhalle. And uh, actually, I remember you did a tattoo, especially for me. What happened with this? Uh, well, actually, I did the tattoo, and it's good to see you again. It's really wonderful to be back in Frankfurt for the 50 millionth time this year. Um, actually, um, I have to show you. It started off so wrong, and it turned out so right. Hey, the, the eternal star. And what was better was, because uh, actually, sorry, tattoo man, but it wasn't all that good. And then I had my friend Tony Mox uh, fix it up. There's Tony, the rock and roll tattoo. Yay! So he fixed it all up, and uh, the rest is history. It looks great. It looks great. And you got another new one. Come on, James. But that's only the beginning because part two is. The good thing, James, is we keep on meeting again and again. Actually, the final leg of the Scorpions, the farewell tour, isn't over yet. There are still some great shows to come, even in Germany. Right, well, you know, um, uh, the, uh, every time we put out an album, we always tour for two and a half years. So right now we're just one year into the two and a half year tour for Sting in the Tail. So we have one and a half years. So then on top of that, to say farewell, we're probably going to go like another year or so just to make sure that everybody gets to see us at some point or another. So we're super excited about that. Actually, you're playing close to Frankfurt this June at the Hessentag. We are looking forward to see you there and as well on some other open airs during the summer. So the Scorpions are doing pretty well. They had a tremendous success throughout, the, especially the past two years. They get re-appreciated by the German crowd. Uh, it, it's been really incredible that uh, we're so thankful to all the German fans, of course. For I mean, just it's been like a homecoming. Like we've so, selling out the Cologne Arena and all these arenas, and it's just amazing. And then, uh, you know, it, it's it's just amazing around the world the outpouring and the requests for shows has just been incredible so we're like totally flattered totally blown away so the, which countries you played the past year you played in south america asia we did uh south america uh, we we actually just got back from we did thailand just about a month ago uh we did south america we were in we did israel gosh oh we did america that's right yeah. we, did, we did 38 shows in america we did uh I mean, really, we were uh, Mexico, Canada, we were really all over the place. And uh, it was great to be actually at home in Germany, too, you know. It was really wonderful. It was great, great feeling. And next time you go to Russia, I've seen, and some other countries from this side of the world. Right. Coming up, we're doing like 10 shows in uh, Russia in May. And then uh, June, July, we're here. Oh, we're doing Beirut, Lebanon really? in uh, July. <laughs> so it's really wonderful. You told me last year when we met, uh, you're not only with the Scorpions, of course, most of you are familiar with especially your great drum solo called Kotak Attack. It's a very visual experience you do on stage every night. But Kotak Attack is also the main title of your fourth album to release really soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really super excited. Give me this thing. Give me it. <laughs> um, no, I'm really excited because the coat. Ah! The fourth Kotak album is coming out in May or June, or I think May 27th. And I'm super excited because it's the best album I've ever done, and I'm really, really jazzed and excited about it. I am going to make a video from it. That's good. So you will get the video. You will be the first to get the video anywhere in the world. So I'm super excited about that. So what is the difference with the new album? Of course, there's uh, new tracks, definitely. You change your style because the lineup is different. You got a new band together. Yeah, um, actually, uh, the uh, I have a, a girl named Stephanie Smith playing guitar. I've got a uh, Francis, my drum tech, is playing drums from Scorpions. He's an incredible drummer. And, uh, you know, we've made a couple of changes, but it's still co Kotak. It's a little more hard rock. It's a little less punk, but it's still great songs. It's And a lot of party. Yes. Tons of partying. You told me also that Kotak, Kotak Attack is not the only release on your own label. You got your own label. So in between the Scorpion show, in between recording your own album, 
you became a label head by yourself. You're a businessman, James. Yeah. Well, I'm a yeah, right. Anyway, but yes, uh, my label Snug Records. Uh, we're proud to release our first release is a group called Cleveland, Cleveland with a K, and uh, it's just it's like like kind of punk alternative, cool rock and roll. It'll be out May 27th. We're super excited about that. So look for that in the stores. Will there be some Kodak shows also in Germany during the year? Um, well, yeah, we hope to. Uh, if things go right, I'll be on tour with a major band in September, October. I'm not going to say who it is, but everybody knows them. <laughs> we have the opening slot on that. That looks good. And, um, you know, I'm just like just going to go around and do some parties in June and July. So we'll see what happens, man. Of course, going with the Scorps, you're flying in and out, in and out. You're actually living right off your suitcase. Uh, actually, today I woke up in London. Uh, this morning, I've been in London for the last few days. We just did the Gorbachev's 80th birthday party last week at the Royal Albert Hall in London. It was amazing. Really? How was it? It was great. Like uh, Sharon Stone and Kevin Spacey hosted it. Arnold Schwarzenegger was there. It was like really an incredible event. And you played there? We did um, two songs with the, with the London Philharmonic Orchestra. It was like nuts. And then uh, I hung out in, in London and like uh, did some business and did partied a little bit in London for a few days. Today I arrive here in Frankfurt. Tonight I go to Geneva. Tomorrow uh, we have a Scorpion show outside of Geneva, and uh, then I go back to America on Friday. So it's nuts. <laughs>